just wanted to uh, say thank you very much for subscribing to the channel and uh, also we're gonna kind of do a quick tour of our trailer today um, we just picked it up from getting some repairs done only had it about a year uh, but if any of you have had RVs you know that um, you're gonna run into some issues um, and need some repairs we bought this Lance um, hoping you know you pay a little bit more money for this so you're hoping the quality is better and we feel like the build quality is better but you're still gonna run into some of the same problems that a lot of other uh, folks are gonna run into with any trailer that you have and so we're gonna kind of walk around do a quick tour of the trailer uh, interior and exterior in case anybody's interested and then we'll kind of talk about some of the problems and some of the things we had to have repaired as well so so here's the exterior this is a Lance 1985 model and we'll kind of chat about what that means um, it's just my wife and I Kim and I and a dog we have a small beagle uh, so really we didn't need a lot of room uh, so this guy is just uh, 24 feet in length um, so it's very compact which is good for us because we're new to RVing and um, one of the biggest struggles I have is back in the trailer getting better but it's um, it's tougher than I kind of hoped it was going to be and also hauling you know we haul with this uh, newer F-150 which it's got the tow package so it's definitely more than enough uh, truck to pull the trailer but what I didn't want to do is end up having a trailer that was going to be too much uh, we were talking about maybe even picking up a trailer a little bit bigger than this one so that we could have a separate living area or a bedroom area but we decided that um, given the the space and the fact that we never had a trailer before we wanted to um, stay on the small side which like I said it's worked out fine and we actually really enjoy it so anyhow so here's a quick run around of the exterior we'll kind of uh, show you a little bit about what we have here uh, you've got the electronic door lock which is pretty neat um, so you don't always have to key that thing it's kind of tough as anybody knows it owns a trailer these aren't locks are not made like a lock in a home that's for sure so and I'll just take a look at this little storage space. It's kind of interesting, a little bit different than some of the other trailers. So you've got this thing that pulls out, they call it the coffin, which is pretty funny. As you can see, you've got a lot of room for storage here for such a small trailer. Um, I mean, it would seem like we're always picking up new stuff every day. So it gets a little bit more full all the time, but that's pretty nice. Then you got your little battery compartment. Came with, um, three propane tanks so it's just pretty nice um, that way you don't have to keep refilling all the time one of the issues that we ran into had to do with this smart jack we had to uh, get that replaced this, like i said we've only had this less than a year and the smart jack uh, wasn't going wasn't retracting so we actually had a new model uh, it was covered under warranty which was cool so we we're able to get that uh, replaced on this trip and uh, kind of hard to go out camping when you can't retract your jack so i'm glad they were able to fix that and on this side, so you got your battery compartment. Uh, I got it locked anyway. This is where your batteries are stored. And then here you got a little bit more storage. You can see that's where the coffin, uh, other side of the coffin is. And then you've got the storage space here and um, your battery. It's got some lights in here. Uh, batteries aren't on. So anyhow, that's uh, that section. And then this is a slide. We'll see about pulling that out here in a minute. And that's got um, quite a bit of room as well it's a pretty nice slide for such a small trailer then we have this space here which is kind of where we put our blocks in our trash can and what have you so pretty nice uh, storage area for such a small trailer actually and then we've got our exterior shower haven't used that yet but I'm sure it'll come in handy when it does uh, one of the cool things about this trailer is it does have a black tank flush um, so you can just hook your hose up to this and uh, flush out your black tank look in the interior Hopefully we can see with the light that we've got here. So as you can see, it's got uh, what we liked about this trailer is it has a couch plus a dinette and a pretty nice size dinette at that. Like I said, there's only two of us, but man, you could fit. We fit six adults and two kids around this thing. Uh, one of our most recent camping trips. So definitely have plenty of room there. And these couches are really comfortable. Um, we tried a lot of different companies, a lot of different trailers and one thing we didn't like was the fact their couches were uncomfortable. And this one here, you could sit on all day. Um, so basically what this does is it folds down and then the bed slides back and over. And that's really quick. And we can show you that here 
momentarily. So now you've got some more interior storage, really high end cabinetry. It's all, it all slides, which is pretty nice. Kind of what you find in a higher end home. And you've got your, your fans, a lot of light. So you can get a lot of light in here, a lot of windows, uh, which is pretty nice. And then of course you have your automatic slide and um, kitchen area here. It's kind of nice when it's parked and the slides in, you can still get to the bathroom. So um, it's kind of a tight fit. So I'm not the biggest guy in the world, but I can squeeze through here. And so you've got quite a bit of area here for your clothes. And these little things just pop off and then you can get some extra light in here. And you've got cabinets here. And then one thing that's we wanted to is we're kind of hoping for a little bit bigger bathroom. I mean, this is fine uh, for, like I said, this our size, but you know, I'm 5'9", Kim's 5'6", so I mean, I could imagine if you're pushing six plus in a couple hundred pounds, it'd be a pretty tough squeeze. Got Jensen um, components in the TV. So like I said, pretty high-end stuff. Microwave, stove top, and a stove. I don't think we're ever gonna use that, but it's there. Nice thing about this kitchen area is, again, high quality, and you've got these guys here that pop out like this. And so you've got a nice big sink, which is pretty neat. And if you want just a little bit more space, you can pop that up. And so you can see you get quite a bit of uh, space here, especially since this is flat as well and flush. Uh, you got a lot of room there. So let's see if we can't retract this thing got to kind of close the door a little bit and we can retract just one push of a button and you can get the awning to pop out here and it's automatic so we don't have to do anything with it which is nice we got a father-in-law that has a motorhome uh, that he has to uh, do manually it's you know only takes a couple minutes but he he would tell you it's a pain so that's that and then if we were to take it's got some uh, lights as well which is pretty neat so let's see if we can retract this no nope, we don't want to do that I want the slide out all right that's in let's see if we can get out and as you can see now we've just opened up a really big space in here take a look you got a lot of light coming through here too with these windows um, which are pretty nice and you've got these lights here which is kind of neat you can adjust them so if you want a romantic mood light yeah there you go and then there's the tv and then the uh, audio system and the tv pulls out and then you have some storage here for games and movies and what have you and then these guys actually pop out as well so there's more storage there like so so yeah like I said it's uh, definitely fits what we need and if we just take these little things off real quick I'll show you how fast you can do this and I'm just one person Kim's up chit chatting so if we just take this and fold it over now we've got a full queen size bed like i said it's uh takes less than what 30 seconds to fold this thing back up like so and then just pop this guy back up like that and then there you go the only thing we don't like of course is that's not the nicest looking thing and that's why we got this other cover to kind of cover it up um but again nobody comes in our trailer but us and even if they did if they're worried about that then they got bigger issues I, this runs off of both gas and uh propane so that's kind of cool uh full air conditioner heater all that stuff that you would expect let this thing get in here da -da -da. so we had the jack and then we also had an awning issue so we had a small little hole in this awning somewhere uh, and they patched that up I can't even see it so they did a really good job patching it and then this end cap 
had popped off, uh, and so they replaced that for us for free. So Curtis Trailer in Portland, you know, did a really solid job of taking care of us as far as I was concerned. They could have charged us, you know, an arm and a leg for those things because they weren't necessarily part of the warranty. Now we'll show you one other little thing too. If, you, if you're getting a trailer or have a trailer and you're looking for some different chocks, these little X chocks are really cool. They kind of just go in between if you have a dual axle like we do. They just go in between, you tighten them down against the uh, tires, and away, this thing's rolling away, and you don't have to worry about chalking back of the tire. Pretty secure. Nobody could steal them without having that little ratchet piece that you need to take it out. So, Okay, I realize I missed just a couple things, including my wife. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Say hi. Hi. I'm just going to follow you around. Okay. Kind of weird. Anyway, so she unlocked these now because she had the keys and so again a little bit more storage here this is where we kind of keep our sway bars and hoses and some of the other stuff that we got it's not super deep but it does uh, the trick for what we need with all this light i don't know if you can see it very well because it's so bright out today in sunny oregon never rains in oregon no matter what they tell you all right i'm lying it rains all the time we just happen to have a nice day today uh so that was that side and then i wanted to also show you a couple other little quick things it is a four season uh trailer again that's what you're paying a little bit more money for is the insulation in this thing um in oregon we don't get too uh cold you know and we'll be in we'll get freezing but we're not going to get below zero like some of the other parts of the country so four season might not be something that we need, but anyway, it's still nice. And you got these retractable steps, which are pretty neat. So you can just retract those up. Hey, Kim, come here and teach me how to open the uh, fridge. <laughs> not that I'm sexist and Kim does all the cooking or anything, and I'm too dumb to open up a refrigerator, but I couldn't get it to open when I was doing my little tour. <laughs> so these automatically come with uh, the little locks in it so that you get air in it. So when you're parked, you don't get mold issues. Ah. So there's just a little gray plastic thing in here and you just have to kind of push it. Thank you so much for training me <laughs> on how to use the refrigerator. So pretty good uh, size refrigerator too for and a smaller big, trailer. Big size freezer. Big size freezer. So again, it's uh, Norco. So one of the higher, at least that's what they claim. One of the higher end fridges and stuff that you got. Uh, the more I look around, the more I find that I thought I showed them everything, but I didn't show them everything. So if you check these out, they actually come with curtains that actually black out. So you've got two different curtains you can use here, which is pretty cool. So you've got some that will show some light through, and then you have some that will black out. And you've actually got that on this big window here and this window here as well. Um, I have to have really complete dark when I sleep. So this thing here, sometimes if we're staying somewhere that's got some light, it can be kind of a pain, but those blackout curtains definitely help. If we didn't have those, I'd really be in trouble. Right. Oh, I never showed him this either. So more storage. So I guess that's the point of this video is this thing is just full of storage. <laughs> To show them all the different types of storage this thing has for such a small trailer they definitely used every single inch that they could to make sure that uh, we had enough storage and we just picked up a neat little thing today that i guess i can just show you since we already just picked it up which is a vent insulator and this basically fits any of your standard um, fans and what it'll do is just kind of sits up in here Oop like so and you just kind of squeeze it in there and it keeps everything insulated um so especially in the winter time and keep it warm in the summertime it's supposed to keep it cool and so that would be pretty nice especially it'll block out more of the light as well which is what i need because all we have otherwise are these snap-ons like this they snap on but they still have some light that comes through all right Anything else that you want to add? What do you think about this trailer? If you had to give it a review, if you had to give it a score between one and one million, what score would you give it? Well, I've never had another one, so. I know, but a score between one and one million. I'll give it 999,999. 999. <laughs>
because it hasn't. We haven't had any issues with it yet. What do you mean? We just talked about some issues well, that we had. Like, I know. I said it wasn't really Lance issues. It was more. I thought they were on that thing. Oh, yeah, no, they're there. Yeah. yeah, so you can see they light up. It's the red one that says awning. Which is pretty. Oh, yeah, nice show. Every other light is black up here. So they got speakers out here, too, of course, which most of them do, which is cool. So you can listen to music outside and then got a little other light there. Oh, yeah, nice work, Cam. And you can hook up your TV here. If you had, you could pull the TV specifically right out of the trailer and then hook it right there. Which is pretty neat. We haven't done that yet, but maybe did someday. Show this feature? I did show that feature. Okay. Yep. And then this little storage thing that we never use. Yep. Babe, I showed everything. And then some. It's like my fifth time turning this on and off. This thing closes. This is usually where I cook breakfast. And then I'll squeeze it through here to Kim, which is pretty funny. Because we have a dog that... Man, actually, she's too old. She doesn't even try to go anywhere anymore. But we still do it because we're crazy like that. Um, all right. Anything else? Yeah. We had an issue with the door shutting as well. Um, we had to slam this thing shut, so they ended up fixing that, which is nice. That was a pain. People, our neighbors were probably freaking out why these guys keep slamming the stupid doors, but hopefully that'll work for a while. All right, so that was probably the most entertaining video ever. But if you're looking for a trailer, yep. it would be entertaining. Need your antenna. Mm, yeah, antenna, true. And that's why the door is cut out like this. Because when the slide is out, the door opens up and it has to clear this. Oh man, you know so much. Hey, where are those, where are those lights at? Those are pretty cool. I got these lights up there. There's Fancy. lights everywhere. There are lights everywhere. I showed them our romantic mood lights, which are cool. <laughs> mm. You got an emergency exit window, which would be awesome to try to crawl through that thing. <laughs> hey, emergency. Yeah, I guess. Emergency. I'm going to be busting down a door. All right. Later gaze. I think I just said later, later gaze. I, I meant... I said labor gaze. <laughs> you think I said labor <laughs> gaze? <laughs> I meant later days. Well, look, she's going to put these things back in. I, showed, I tried to tell everybody how easy it is. Don't prove me wrong. Oh, there you go. You just have to... What's funny is I actually, uh, I took it all, I took it down with one hand. So that really does show how easy it is. Okay, you thought you were done with me, but Kim just found a chore for me. So I figured, why not get up on the roof, which is what I need to do. She found some dead bugs in one of our fans. So I've got to go do some dead bug retrieval and one other thing i wanted to mention too is that one other thing we had to have fixed is we were just camping uh, a couple weeks ago and this started on fire we had a small little fire and what happened was it got bugs uh in this guy so we got little stink bugs in fact there's one right there a nasty little thing uh, anyway they came in here and i started the uh furnace caught one of them on fire and all of a sudden this thing started smoking and it looks like they cleaned it up but there was a bunch of smoke in fact they might have replaced that uh, smoke burn there so what they have is they have some uh, caps that you can fill this in but these little stink bugs get in these vents so um, you might if you got a trailer and you have any concern with that um, your local shop should have something that'll cover that so hopefully we'll get that taken care of we won't have that issue but just bugs 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 everywhere always got bugs so let's see let's put this down so i don't kill myself here I'll fix that so, uh, I know what's cool about this trailer is you can walk on this roof um, that's how well made this thing is you don't even have to worry about having any issue so here we've got one of our vents. Hey, Kim, can you crank this? So I can already see bugs. Whoa, whoa, you're moving me up here. This is scary. All right, so this is gross. I'm not, a, not like I want to be playing with dead bugs. Oh, oh, he's not even dead. Dang it. Man, what am I going to do? Have to touch this thing? You have gloves on? Yeah, but I don't want to touch damn bugs. That's nasty. Get out of here. Oh, he's flying away. Where's the other dead bug? 
Yeah, there's one right there. That's gross. You didn't get him. I know, babe. Ah, oh, damn, that's nasty. This is gross. I mean, I don't. If everybody else likes bugs or whatever, hey, good on you, but I don't. Oh, damn. That was nasty, dude. Is that it? What? Where? On top of the plastic thing now. On this? Yeah. Oh. Gosh, dang, dude. Why don't you do this? Because that's a boy job. That's disgusting. All right, close it up. Dang. Hey, check the bathroom one, too. Okay. Hey, make sure this is tight. It is tight. All right, that was gross. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that garbage. Now I've got a bunch of bug juice on me. All right, so that's that. Good times.